1. A particle moves along a straight line and passes through a fixed point O. Its displacement S is given by So this is the formula of displacement where T is the time in second after the movement begins A. Find instantaneous displacement in meter of the particle 1 So we see here the formula S is equal to 2 T square minus 5 T minus 3 Where S is the displacement and T is represented by time So basically this is X and Y Do you still remember when we substitute X we get Y So when we have the value of T When T is equal to 0 S is equal to 2 0 square minus 5 0 minus 3 so here we get negative 3. Okay, and then second, t is equal to 2. T is equal to 2. So s is equal to 2, so we substitute t with 2. So here we get 2 square minus 5, 2 minus 3. So here we get 2 times 4 minus 10 minus 3, so negative so 8 minus 10 is negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5 so you see here displacement is a unit of vector so what does it mean is that you have a positive and negative symbol so we know that when we are going to the right it is a positive displacement and when we are going to the left it means that it is negative displacement so first so 1 instantaneous displacement in meter of the particle when t is equal to 0 is negative 3 and meter so this one instantaneous displacement you make uh, the word instantaneous <laughs> displacement of the particle when t is equal to 2 is this one is negative 5 meter because the answer wants in meter B, find the time when the particle passes through point O. So we see here we have fixed point O, okay? Right, okay. So now we have S is equal to 2T square minus 5T minus 3. So here we know that O is the reference. So we see here when we have a point, we know that going, going to the right is a positive displacement and going to the left is negative displacement, right? So we know that this one is based on O which means O must be 0 because O is the reference point so passing through passes through point O that's mean when S is equal to 0 so when S is equal to 0 2T square minus 5T minus 3 is equal to 0 this one you can do factorization I mean, you can factorize manually or you can even use your two negative So t is equal to 3 because t, t minus 3 is 0. So t is equal to 3 and this one 2t plus 1 is equal to 0. So t is equal to negative half. So now we are talking about time, right? So for time, there is no negative for time. So this one t is equal to 3. t is equal to 3. Okay. This one is 9 meter to the right of point O. So we know that point O is the reference, right? So... 9 meter to the right, that means S is equal to 9. It is a positive because to the right of O. Since O is the reference and the value is 0. So we see here when S is equal to 9, so the formula, why I keep on deleting 2t square minus 5t minus 3. When S is equal to 9, so we have 2t square minus 5t minus 3, right? So we bring at one side, 9, we bring to this side. So 2t square minus 5t minus 3 positive 9 will become negative 9. 2t square minus 5t, negative 3 minus 9, you get negative 12 is equal to 0. So this one you can so now we can factorize. So you see here you can just use a calculator or calculate manually. But this one you see here 12 is actually 3 times 4. And then 2 is actually 1 times 2, right? This one is 2 times 4 and this one is 1 times 2. And we know that to get negative 5, so 4 times 2 and 3 times 1, right? This one is 8, this one is 3 and we see negative 5. So negative 5 means that this one must be negative value. So we see here this one is, so this one is t minus 4 and this one is 2t plus 3. 
Okay. Or you can just use calculator. So this one is t is equal to 4. T is equal to negative 3 over 2. But again, we are talking about time. So time cannot be negative. So here we get t is equal to 4. C determine the range of time in second when the particle is to the right of point O. So we see here to the right of point O. So we know that point O is the reference, right? So to the right is this way, which means the S is larger than 0 because to the right of point O. So we know that here S is equal to 2T square minus 5T minus 3. So we know that S is larger than 0. So basically 2T square minus 5T minus 3 is larger than 0. Now we can factorize. So you can manually or just use calculator. So 3 is actually 3 times 1. So you have 2. 2 is 2 times 1, right? To get negative 5. So 3 times 2, 1 times 1. And you see here this one is negative. So negative. So 2 times... 2 times 3 is 6, 6 and 1. To get negative 5, this one must be negative, right? So this one is this one and this one. So this one is t minus 3 and this one is 2t minus 1. It's larger than 0. So we see here when we have inequalities and we want to find the value of this one, the unknown, this one is larger than 0. So the larger than 0, the value is outside. So we see a t minus 3, that means we can get t is equal to 3 and this one to t minus 1 which means t is half right so t is this one is sorry this one is positive okay this one is positive so this one is negative half so we know that we are talking about time right so when we are talking about time the value cannot be negative so it must be this way which means t is larger than 3 So, the range of time when particle to the right of point O is t is larger than 3 or t is larger than 3 seconds.